Oh God, the DP. Josh here with the Pride Productions back in UE4 again with a fifth UMG tutorial. And we're going to be stuck in UMG today because we're going to talk about setting up a grid, a little grid inside of UMG to keep things real nice and neat and mathematically correct. So I got this little robot outside this world here, but you ain't going to see much of that, bro. It ain't going to happen because we're going to be stuck inside. We're going to be stuck inside. I, I like getting inside. But the point is, let me show you how this is done. This is very important when it comes to setting up our Minecraft HUD, which is coming next. But before we, we create our interface, let's right click let's create a material i'm gonna name it uh, i'm gonna name it ring bro i'm gonna name it ring it's just because it's, it's gonna be a ring it's, go, it's gonna be a little ring that we're gonna make inside of our uh, a little a little image we're gonna need a little image i'm gonna explain how this works let's click on ring right make sure it's set to user interface because that's exactly what it is and opaque can be set to translucent now let's get started we need a radio graded exponential we've done all kind of those before you know what i'm talking about make sure you spell it right bro because if you don't if you don't, it's gonna be a mess. If you, it's gonna be a mess. Anyway, I got two of these bad babies right here, right? I control C, control V. We're gonna need four constant values. You can hold the number one, get two of them there, get two of them here, okay? Now, what I want you to do is plug this one into radius and this one into density. We've done this a million times. We're gonna set this first one to 0.5, and we're gonna set this one to 20, okay? That's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. Now, if you if you go ahead and plug that one in, we're, we're gonna see a little ball. We're gonna see a little ball here, right? And all set up there, nice. We're looking at a ball. But what we're gonna do is we're going to actually subtract. So I'm gonna find the subtract, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Subtract button, so a little subtract node, and we're gonna subtract this one from this one, and it's gonna be plugged in. But let's go ahead and fix this up this density can also be 20 so you can set this one right here to be 20 as well so go over here click on that set it to 20 but this one instead of it being 0.5 like this one the radius let's set it to 0.45 you know the 0.45 make it just a little bit smaller and then we can subtract that one from this one and we should have two separate looks you know what i'm talking about boom okay that's we got a little ring we got the big one subtracting the little one and obviously set it into opacity too because you want to get rid of all that black because if you place an image and you don't add the opacity you're just going to see a big black box with a white ring in the middle but you don't want the black you just want that white ring save and there's our little material let's go use it now we're out here let's right click let's go to user interface and let's get started widget blueprint right we're gonna name it i'm gonna name it widget okay bro that's what it is it's 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 a widget let's double click and get started now there's a couple things we're going to do differently. This control panel, or this canvas panel, whatever you want to call it, that's like the, the, the space we have to work in. We're actually going to click and delete that bad baby. We don't need it, son. We need something else. Because again, we're going to create a grid. And again, I'll explain how this all works later. It's going to be a little confusing at first. But don't worry, you can do this. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So get ready. So there are three different types of boxes we need to learn about today, okay? And what they are is horizontal boxes, vertical boxes, and size boxes. And what we need first is a horizontal box. And you'll see it right here. And you can just drag it in there. Boom. And it's done. That's it. That's, and the thing is, it took up the entire screen because that's what it has to work with. If you would have set that inside of a size box, it would have taken up the entire size box. You're probably like, I don't get it. I, I, I know you don't. But now, grab me a size box, bro. And once you have your size box, you can either drag it inside here or you can drag it on top of your horizontal box and watch what happens. Now, if you click the size box, you'll see that this is how big it is. Now, the thing is, this is 1920 by 1080. Remember that, okay? So we're going to split this up. I'm going to set this into four different spots. This will kind of adjust to where it's in the middle and the side and the thing, but this fills, right? And I want it to fill from vertical on, on the vertical on the vertical axis, but horizontal, we're going to we're going to change it. So if I unclick this thing right here, as you can tell, if I scroll my mouse up, you can see it taking up more and more and more and more of this horizontal box that we created. We're going to set it. We're going to split it four ways. So it's 1920, right? 1920. So we're going to do 480. Boom. And there it is. And we're done. Now what you can do is literally grab another size box, drag it in on top here or here, either one, and it's putting it at the next spot. Do the same thing. Grab the width override, set it to 480. You have another one. Grab another size box, set it here or here, either one. Like I said, you can see me set it here. Go to that one. Do the same thing. Uh, check the width override, bro, 480. Don't be afraid. And obviously one more. And we have four different spots and we've, we've set them all the same way. And what's going on now is they are absolutely mathematically correct. So what you do inside of these, you can tell that they're all separated. It's nice and neat. You're talking about staying severely organized, and you're like, bro, I'm a little scared. Well, you're about to get scareder. Okay, you're going, you're going to get scared. Let's get a, let's let, let's get a vertical box. Okay, you got this vertical box, and I want you to put it inside of here. Now watch what happens. I'm pointing at the screen. Y'all can't see that, but watch what happens over in the in the in the cam in the hierarchy over there. Okay, the vertical box went inside of the size box, which is what we want. We want a vertical box inside of each size box. You're like, bro, 
What is happening? Like, what, 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 what's going over here? Don't worry. Don't worry. I want you to, I know this is weird. I'm sorry. Just add, I want you to get another size box, bro. I want you to get another one. I'll put you inside the, the vertical box now, right? Now, look, the size box went inside the vertical box. Now, this is 1080, right? 1920 by 1080. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the height because it's set to fill. It's set to fill left and right, which is great. It, as you can tell, the size box took up the entire vertical box width. But when you check the height, What's I have a 1080, bro? It's 540. It's 540. Grab another size box. Set it down here. Override the height. Set it to 540. Boom. Now we have a size box in each one of these bad babies. Now what I want you to end up doing, obviously, and you can already see what I'm doing, and you can see the horizontal box has a size box, which has a vertical box, and two size boxes inside of it. So I know that's a mess, but now what you're going to be doing is doing this for the rest of it. So you're going to have to go in here and set these. And I know, and you're probably thinking, man, is there an easier way to do this? The answer is no. The answer is uh, the answer is no. And, 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 and I'm I'm sorry, but the point is we're going to sit here and, and, and take a few seconds and just basically pull in your size boxes, set one here. Like I said, I'm just doing, I'm literally just doing the math, setting one in each vertical box. And then after I set it in the vertical box, I'm literally just adding another one to the second spot. And the only reason it's 540, and of course you probably understand that if you didn't hear me before, is because it's mathematically correct. It's 1920 by 1080, so I'm just using that math. And you can see your hierarchy going to town over here. You know what I'm talking about? I know this looks a little scary, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's nothing to be afraid of. Add another size box, and boom, we have eight size boxes now. You're like, well, congratulations, man. You create a little grid and there's nothing inside of it. Ha ha, ha ha, whatever. Okay, the point is, now that I've got my grid, and again, you could make it tiny, big, whatever you want, however you like it. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna type an image, right? I'm gonna grab an image and I'm gonna set it right in here. Now, what? look at what happened there. The image went exactly the size. It literally just right inside of that size box. You know what I'm saying? And it's all mathematically built. So now I can put an image in each one of these, right? Just fill them up. And you can see that the image is going into the size box that it's supposed to be going into. You can place it down here if you want, but if you want to be smart, and thank God you be four smarter than we are, we can, we, can, we can put them in like this. So now I have eight places for images. You're like, dude, that is nasty. Now the thing is, I'll move this over here. I'll go here and I'll click ring, right? That's the, the material we created. It's the little user interface, little, little ring. And and if, when, you're, when you have an image selected, you'll go to the brush. You may have to drop this down. You'll see image. Now that ring is selected in this other window, I can literally just go here and press the arrow and boom. So I can click every one of these and now I have a ring in each one of these little boxes. And again, it's not a perfect square because a perfect square would have been 500 by 500 or whatever. And these are actually, if you remember, it's 480 by 540. So the ring is actually going to be a little not perfectly, it's not perfectly square. But what's cool about this, guys, is you have a perfect, this is mathematically, mathematically, you're not, you're not dragging this image to try to make sure it's Right. I mean, if, if you if you paid any attention to any of the tutorials before this, we're kind of just basically hoping that everything's in the middle. Obviously, you can go through here, and and, and, and since there's no uh, since there's no canvas panel, there's no anchoring. But the reason that is a whole that's a whole different ballgame. The reason that's not there is because you would take this entire user interface and this entire interface blueprint or widget blueprint or whatever you want to call it, and drag it inside of a master widget blueprint and use it as just a section, and you would anchor that. But the point is, guys, it's mathematically correct. It's cool. You can change the tint now and. You can have all kind of different color rings, but but the whole point of doing this again is to make things nice and neat. And when it comes to us getting ready to use the Minecraft HUD, because we're obviously going to do that next, is the reason this will work is because the whole little, down at the bottom of the screen, you actually have the, the the little boxes holding your inventory. We'll be able to make sure that they're exactly on point. They'll never be off because it'll be mathematically done, right? So we'll have a we'll, we'll, we'll feel good about it. We'll feel good about it, and that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, we were going to be stuck in UMG the whole time, but the whole point of this again is that all of these fit right into their size boxes, and you could make. Tons of them. You could split it up as much as you want, and you can keep things really organized and mathematically well done. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it looks neater. It looks better. And obviously, if you would drew this to the screen, you would not have to worry about things being uneven from each other. These would all be perfect. So again, a lot of work here. We created a horizontal box. I just want to go through that again. A horizontal box, and then split it into four size boxes. And then each size box was split into two more size boxes with a vertical box. So all kind of boxes, bro. Size box, vertical box, horizontal box, box, okay? I like that box, but the point is, guys, I hope you learned a little something. We're about to use this to create the HUD inside of the Minecraft tutorial series next. So you hope you guys are ready for that, but I hope this made sense. I know there was a lot to go over. Feel free to watch this tutorial a couple times and kind of look at exactly how I did that. 
I know it's kind of complicated, but at the same time, once you've done this 10 or 12 times, you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's beautiful. It's neat. It's easy, dude. It's so easy. It's neat. It's pretty. I'm telling you, this is how it's done. But guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, Josh here with Deprived Productions. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like the Facebook page. Go find Deprived on SoundCloud, on Bandcamp. We got two EPs out. Hit them up. Download some free music off our SoundCloud. Deprived 2018. Deprived on Sam or Bandcamp and SoundCloud. Like I said, check it out. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate you. Get ready for some Minecraft stuff. We got that coming next, but I really wanted to make sure you guys understood how we do this type of grid-based UMG stuff. It's actually the most professional and mathematically correct way to do it for sure. You can do whatever you want, but this is very, very, very useful, and we'll continue to work with it. And hopefully, you'll learn some more stuff. And hopefully, I'll learn some more stuff. You know what I mean, bro? So we're gonna just we're gonna say bye to this little guy. We're gonna say bye to this little guy. Okay, and that's it. Say good night. Bye. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Until then. Peace. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm back. One more thing. One more thing. Real quick. Love you. Miss you.